There are five knives that I use on a daily basis and I want to run you through when to use them and why. So let's start with the good old paring knife, the smallest of the knives. Fantastic for coring, peeling. I sometimes peel potatoes with it and also great for pears. You can get the core out so easily because it fits in your hands quite nicely. Then the vegetable knife. So it's great for celery, carrot and onions. I particularly like it because of its broad blade and it fits really nice in my hands. So you've got complete control as you're chopping your vegetables. I also love to use it to finely chop garlic. Next one is the carving knife. This one comes out when I'm carving my roasts on the weekend. It's thin, long blade that's also flexible, allows you to precisely slice. So for example, this cured salmon, I'm going to get beautiful beautiful, thin, accurate slices by using all of the knife from the base of it to the top of it. So we don't get jagged edges, we get perfectly thin, smooth slices. Look at that. That's what we're after. So you get extremely thin slices without it breaking. Just give that a wipe. And then the knife that I use most often is a cook's knife. Now this is the jack of all trades, so I use it for meat, fish and vegetables. And then finally, you can't have a knife set without having a bread knife. Great for all baked goods, including a loaf of bread. And the reason you want to use a serrated knife as opposed to a chef's knife when you are cutting through soft white bread is because you don't want to squash it.